experience with social activism as it pertains to your art and how you got involved with exploring your <clears throat> political and social views through, through art? Well, I mean, I, I was always an artist, but I was always uh, a political person. I was never a specifically uh, uh, kind of in-your-face political artist. Uh, I'm a painter, basically. I always saw my studio, and I see my studio as a place where you form the ideas that lead you into the world, in a sense. And as you move into the world, uh, and you mature as an artist, I feel that, that it's your responsibility to become more of a citizen and uh, a political citizen and and do the things that are important to you to see in the world. And for me, uh, one of the actually important formal elements in my work is, is light. And that light, in a way, kind of led me uh, if, if, it, if it's not about spiritual generosity, it's not about anything. But, you know, there's work to do in the studio and there's, there's more practical work that's not in my head that I need to do out of my studio, but it really is part of the same circle. And I, that's how I've always seen it, as the interconnectedness of what goes on inside and outside. And some of the things, obviously, that have, not obviously, that have always been important to me are, um, you know, I was, I was growing up during the 80s and uh, the AIDS um, epidemic was uh, uh, very devastating. And um, I wasn't um, on the front lines, let's say, in ACT UP or something, but I kind of thought that for me, the best role to play was more a kind of try to organize, you know, that there, so, there were so many ways to approach the issue. There was the activism to um, uh, get approval of drugs. There was care, uh, like God's love we deliver, but we kind of, a group of me and my friends, uh, really thought that research uh, was the key because that would eventually lead to the cure. So we kind of built this organization, and I was the president of it for a long time, um, that really conducted clinical trials with a lot of the uh, with government and pharmaceutical companies, did advocacy in terms of prevention, care, health, and options once you know, uh, somebody had been sick in terms of where they can go, and the, uh, a big part of the outreach was to minority communities. So I, uh, I've always been involved in the LBGT, uh, you know, kind of activism. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, I was just happened to randomly uh, get a uh, an email from you, Hunter. <laughs> Uh, and I clicked on it, and I just thought that the mission that you were beginning here, the, the, the kind of bringing people out of their context and helping to educate them, and helping to really enlighten them through, number one, just A, getting out of their context. That's an important thing, being in the country, being away, and then bringing, letting them be in this space in this beautiful place where they can make art, they can make theater. And, you know, again, I, I did this in Africa where, with refugees, where when you bring art to people, it doesn't need translation. It just kind of touches something. It touches their, their sense of, of lost childhood in a way. You know, so many of these kids struggled so hard just to be who they are against such obstacles, whether it was their sexuality, poverty, uh, um, race, uh, and a combination of all of those in most cases here. And then to bring them into this, uh, uh, this environment where they could think about the future and how they want to proceed and how they, their creativity is really the most important part and, and their pain actually uh, was the, um, and can be, the platform to become a fully aware and creative person. 
And I think that even in a few days, a lot of them, uh, if they hadn't figured that out already, a lot have, they're incredibly smart, street smart, they, but they got a chance to do it. And they, and they had the facilities to do it, and they had the mentoring that I think um, kind of made it, makes it uh, easier for them to do it. So I think that here uh, at Eastern Mountain, uh, under you know your program, Art in the Woods, has been a, a, a really you know tremendous uh, has a tremendous value in terms of getting people to really get in touch with the innocence and the awe. You know, look at the stars, see who they are, think about their lives and where they want to take them, and use their innate creativity as like the way out of uh, some of their harsh um, environments. And, I, and I've seen that happen in refugee camps. I see it happen here. They really get in touch with something in a safe space that uh, they can't do in any other way. Wow, thank you. You're thank welcome. you for coming, Rob. It's been my pleasure. It's been a lot of fun, too. Yeah. Because not only are they incredibly talented, but they're incredibly funny.